This episode is brought to you by ThinkNear. Their location score platform delivers the most accurate location targeting available on mobile. Visit them at locationscore.com. This is the Mobile Commerce Minute with your hosts, Rob Woodbridge and Chuck Martin. This is the Mobile Commerce Minute. My name is Rob. And my name is Chuck. Chuck, those that get mobile and bring mobile into their business are, well, selling more and earning more. Seems simple. Well, what, what's happened is the leaders are pulling ahead and those who are not playing seriously are essentially stagnating is the bottom line. Uh, this is based on some research from Critio, C-R-I-T-E-O. And what they did was they, they looked at the, the share of those who are basically uh, the significant retailers, the, the sort of the leading quadrant, and then they looked at the lowest quadrant. And what they found was um, really bad news from the bottom. The retailers in the top quartile uh, have the highest share of transactions, and they they the, those in the bottom grew only one percent uh, from six to seven percent uh, versus the top group, which is now at thirty eight percent, up from thirty five percent. Um, and it gets even worse for those at the bottom. Uh, in terms of conversion rates, uh, those at the top, Android conversions two point seven, two point seven is a pretty good conversion rate. Uh, iPhone two point three percent. Android tablet 2.9% and iPad 3.1%. Now here are the laggards, those at the bottom of retail, basically the retailer is not doing as much commerce. Conversion rate 0.5% on Android, 0.9% on iPhone, 1.4 on Android tablets and 2.7 on iPad. So those who are doing well are, are continuing to do even better and those who aren't active in commerce, basically they're falling by the wayside. So is there a direct co correlation between those succeeding in mobile and those succeeding off of mobile in terrestrial retail, bricks and mortar? Well, those who are succeeding in, in, in mobile are those, the, basically, they're the big guys who are spending the money uh, and allocating the resource and basically saying, we do buy into commerce and multi-channel or omni-channel so that they're selling, it, they're trying to link things between uh, online, in-store, mobile, and tying all that together. And we're seeing, I mean, they're going like gangbusters. And those who haven't gotten mobile yet, they're not really going to be in good shape. Don't forget to come back for our next episode.